We've got Leah Galton. Whoa, super Leah Galton. Whoa, she never gives the ball away. Hello everyone and welcome back to the United Star. You are seeing me after a very very long time. But uh, you know I was busy with my health issues and my studies. So I am back now. It's it's wonderful to see Manchester United women's team back. It was the first game of the year 2022. A 5-0 win against Birmingham City. A Birmingham side who have just beaten Arsenal 2-0 in their last game. So you know what that means. We might be superior than Arsenal. I, I mean, I'm just joking. Uh, we'll see who's the superior team in the next match uh, in the in the Conti Cup quarter final, which uh, in in which United face Arsenal, which is United's and Arsenal's next game. So yeah, we'll we'll get to see who is the superior team. But a five nil win, the first game of the year 2022 starts with a win. That's something that we've not heard of. In the past, since in the past two years, because I remember United losing to Bristol City uh, in in the year 2021, in the year 2020, and losing to Chelsea in the year 2021. So in the last two years in the league, we have lost our first game of the year. I'm glad. I'm I'm really glad we have started with a win, and uh, you know we are continuing the momentum that we showed uh, towards the end of the year 2021. Uh, we won 5 0 against Aston Villa in our last game of the tw year 2021, and now we have won 5 0 uh, in the first game of the year 2022. 10 goals in the last two games. That's fantastic, and that's what Skinner Ball Supremacy is uh, all about. Uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm appreciating his efforts because he's shown what this team can do. Of course, we haven't got, we haven't seen any incomings, we haven't seen much. Uh, activity in the transfer window from Manchester United side, but you know this team is capable of doing wonderful things, and we saw it today. Of course, the second half could have been much better. We could have scored more goals in the second half, uh, but you know that's the game of football. Of course, Birmingham City would have uh, were were like a wounded lion, so they wouldn't have let United concede concede more goals. But yeah, we won five nil. The first half was fantastic. You know, I, I haven't seen this uh, this amazing of a half from United uh, this season under Mark Skinner. So quickly, I'll 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 talk about the starting eleven that United fielded. Mary Ops in goal, of course, she is the undisputed number one at United right now, and she did really well today. Uh, you know, she wasn't tested a lot by Birmingham City, but uh, you know, she had two wonderful defenders in front of her in the name of Eva Mannion and Millie Turner who look very, very comfortable ever since Millie Turner has come back from her injury. Uh, Una Bhatti started as the, I think she started as the right back and Kirsty Smith started as the left back. Kirsty Smith coming after a wonderful uh, run of games. She, she did really well. I think uh, she started in the Aston Villa game, if I'm not wrong. And she did really well in that game. So I'm, I'm really glad that she got this opportunity. And I think uh Mark Skinner might go with Kirsty Smith against Arsenal as well who knows maybe he goes with Hannah Blundell and Ona Bhatia but I think he uh, he should give this opportunity to Kirsty Smith who has been in a wonderful form lately uh the two pivot midfielders this time were uh, Katie Zellem and uh, Haley Ladd Haley Ladd I mean I remember talking on the all for United WFC fans forum with Connor uh, you know if Connor is watching this video uh, we, we've had a conversation as well in which we stated that maybe we'll apply for the tactician job uh, at United next season and win the treble with the team. <laughs> because I, I remember we discussed how important a player like Haley Ladd is to, is to this team. Because when you have Haley Ladd in the team, you have a wonderful CDM who will you know guard the centre-backs. And that gives the opportunity for the wing-backs to go uh, to play up front and you know to attack more. So even when uh, the opposition is on the counter attack, you have sort of a soldier, sort of a guard in front of the uh, center back, uh, the, both the center backs, and that gives the full back some time to, you know, uh, come back and defend. Uh, and I think uh, Haley Ladd, a wonderful CDM. You know, I really want Mark Skinner to 
get someone some backup to heli lad there's no backup to heli lad if i'm being honest but uh, you know get someone in uh, so that when heli lad isn't available you have a competent cdm and we don't have to play someone who is not accustomed to play that role in the team and alongside heli lad we saw kt zlm the skipper the skipper is uh, you know the first name on the score sheet no sorry she's the first name on the team sheet but this time around she was the first name on the score sheet as well uh, you might have guessed it from my lame acting that i rehearsed this line <laughs> team sheet score sheet so yeah this time she was the first name on the score sheet as well and katie zlm doing really well she's she's becoming more vocal on the pitch and that's something that fans are uh, finally appreciating uh you know there has been a lot of debate but i don't really want to get into that i am really really happy with the performance that kt zlm put in today and uh, then we saw wilde borisa in an advanced number 8 role or you you might call it as the number 10 role she did really when and, and i think uh she came close to scoring uh, two goals in the first half if it wasn't for the brilliance of emily ramsey who's on loan from manchester united uh wilde borisa could have scored two goals today and united would have been leading 5-0 at the break 5-0 <laughs> or 6-0 at the break and we could have scored around 7-8 goals in total uh you know i i really want us to increase our goal difference because in a league like wsl where not many teams are there goal difference does actually play uh, an important role and maybe maybe just maybe the title you know the the on the final day the title might come down to the goal difference who knows because uh, you know united are really playing well and uh, i really want us to become a part of the title race i know uh, it's a bit premature of me well, from my side that i'm saying that uh, united can be in a title race yes we have seen uh, some good performances lately but i i know we shouldn't get ahead of ourselves uh but you know there's a slight chance that i really want united to get into uh, that title race you know just break the monotony of the likes of chelsea city and arsenal finishing in the top 3 just finish in the top 3 get into the uwcl get some more signings because once you are in the uwcl there's an added incentive for the players who are not part of the club and for the players who are part of the club to sign that contract uh and the players who we need, really need to sign will uh, will will see that united have qualified for the uwcl so they would like to join us and that's something that i really want from united to just qualify for the uwcl this season because uh, when push comes to shove um united is capable of doing great things but uh, uwcl is 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 like uh, our dream right now the title is also a dream but right now qualifying for uwcl has to be the dream because you won't get star players if you are not in the uwcl so yeah that's my uwcl rant over uh, and then we saw elesia russo up front she is fantastic as the number 9 she is not your traditional out and out striker but she does all these wonderful things uh, on the pitch uh, and and you know she she scored a goal as well today uh, she, i think she gave she provided an assist as well so kudos to elesia russo for uh, for playing wonderfully was elesia russo yes i think elesia russo did assist one goal to lia galton if i'm not wrong uh, then lia galton of course but before talking about lia galton i want to talk about ella toon ella toon also gave an assist she scored a goal but uh, you know it was uh, it it wasn't a goal it was an own goal which because she scored a wonderful goal that hit the post and uh, after hitting the post it touched emily ramsey and went to into the goal so the goal wasn't actually given to ella toon but uh, it was a wonderful shot a wonderful attempt and and we have seen some amazing goals from ella toon this season i think in the leicester game and i think last time around against birmingham as well she scored a wonderful rocket from outside the box so uh, ella toon continuing her good form she 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 provided an assist i think it was to uh, lia galton for the third goal the third united goal i'll just check yeah for the third united goal for lia galton's second goal ella toon gave the assist and you know uh, united scored their first goal in the 12th minute the second goal in the 16th minute and the third goal in the 18th minute so you know it was <laughs> very difficult for me to uh, post the scores on united stars twitter account so you know uh, that that's where i i was feeling a bit bad because i wasn't able to keep up with the scores 
नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट लिया गार्टन सुपर लिया गार्टन वॉट अ वंडरफुल परफॉर्मेंस आई एम रियली 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 ग्लैड दैट शी इज गॉट दीज टू गोल्स बिकॉज देर वर अ लॉर्ड ऑफ राइवल फैंस देर वर अ लॉर्ड ऑफ यूनाइटेड फैंस हु वर questioning her capability who were questioning whether she should be starting in games but we all know uh, how clutch lia galton is and how integral lia galton has been uh, for united ever since the team was reformed in 2018 so i just want to say that lia galton is back she scored a goal against birmingham uh, in in october in in the first leg of this fixture and now she scored another goal and i really want to talk about katie zellum again Katie Zellum, uh, you know, she. A lot of fans have criticized her. A lot of fans have said that she shouldn't be starting. But Mark Skinner trusted her. Mark Skinner started her in every game, and uh, you know she picked up her form. And and I'm really, really, really glad that she's silencing the haters, the abusers, and she's proving all of the fans who questioned her wrong. I am one of them because I questioned whether she should be starting or not. But I am really glad that she's. she she's playing better than before i know this isn't her best performance she can do much 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 better but uh, you know i just have to be appreciative and i just have to applaud katie zellum's performance uh, this time and she, uh, and my little joke uh, the first name on the team sheet and the first name on the score sheet so that was a coincidence when i was rehearsing what 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 should i say about katie zellum in the video and the first thing that came up in my mind was okay she's the captain so she has to be the first name on the team sheet but uh, i fumbled and i said score sheet so it was a wonderful coincidence uh lia galton again a very 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 good performance from lia galton uh i i really wanted her to get that assist and i really thought that kirsty hansen could have come on in the second half but uh, mark mid did change did did make five changes this time uh it's it's very rare that we see united making five changes whether it is the men's team or the women's team uh but yeah five goals 10 goals in our last two games i think we have won four games in a row right now uh both cup and league combined uh Hanna Blundell came off the bench and provided a wonderful assist to I think it was Alessia Russo. Uh so Hanna Blundell coming off the bench getting another assist. She's got three assists uh, against Birmingham City in a United shirt. She gave the two assist in the in, in the October fixture. The both the goals were assisted by Hanna Blundell. So she loves uh, assisting against uh, Birmingham City and very soon I know she'll be scoring. Uh, against WSL and European teams, if we qualify for the UWCL, so Hannah Blundell came off the bench. Martha Thomas came off the bench. Jackie Gronen came off the bench. It, I mean, I I couldn't have it. It wouldn't be fair if I I didn't mention Jackie Gronen's comeback in the video. So Jackie Gronen is back. I think she's back uh, after oh, two or three months, if I'm not wrong. But I am really glad to see Jackie Gronen back, and you know. Uh, In 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 the I think she played for around thirteen or fourteen minutes. In those thirteen fourteen minutes, we could see how much, how how good Jackie Gronen is, and how much United have missed her. I know we have won games without her, and I'm really proud of this team to do so. But when you have players like Jackie Gronen, Will De Boerisa, Haley Ladd, Katie Zellum, Lucy Stanford, Ella Toon in your midfield, it's it's gonna be fireworks. It's gonna be fireworks. and i'm so glad that the team has done well right now maria thoris daughter and ivana fuso also came off the bench uh, towards the end, towards the end of the game so all in all a very 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 good performance i am really really happy with the performance that united have put in today uh five goals three points a clean sheet and hopefully if west ham uh, finally beat tottenham hotspur i think the game is tomorrow united will be third as of now united is third but uh, if west ham do beat tottenham hotspur tomorrow united will be third for the time being uh, a fantastic fantastic performance and skinner ball supremacy mark skinner is doing something uh, you know people were criticizing him that playing five midfielders together isn't sustainable and you know playing five midfielders together won't be as good as playing a 4-3-3 the total football like people like to mention but he is doing something he's doing something unique he he's doing something that we haven't seen other managers do with be the men's team be the women's team be the in in football in general i haven't seen 
I haven't seen managers play a four five one often. I haven't seen them. You know, I I hope you're getting what I'm trying to say. I'm not saying that okay, Mark Skinner is the legend. He's the greatest of the all time. But what I'm saying is he's doing something unique with this team. We need to get behind him. Of course, people might say he doesn't have the pull to get the transfers, but that's where we need a head of women's football, someone who knows the project, someone who can, uh, you know, sell the project to the players, to the targets. Okay, fine, we are trying to do this. Uh, these are our long-term targets. Come join us. We'll do this. We'll do that. So that that's what I want from United to have a proper structure, to have a proper recruitment uh, policy, to have a proper recruitment plan. and only after that can we actually recruit players you know people appreciate casey stoney of course i appreciate casey stoney because she landed up players like uh, tobin heath kristen press alessia russo uh, jackie cronin but you know at the end of the day there were a lot many names that she missed out on because there wasn't a proper director of football there wasn't a proper uh, head of women's football and that's what it is needed right now we could have signed stina blackstenius but we don't know whether she she really wanted to join us or not so what i'm trying to say is that i am seeing a lot of negativity in the fan base of course we are bummed up right? you know we are bummed right now that uh, St- we didn't sign stina blackstenius a name that we have been wanting to sign since uh, her since then she won the silver medal at the olympics i am i i actually do agree with that that united should have signed but we don't really know the ground reality and you know we can't really unnecessarily criticize the manager every time you know the questions have to be raised towards the club as well what the club is what is the club doing towards women uh, towards you know uh, improving the facilities of course facilities have improved but we are still we are only here right now we have to get here we have to get up there so you know you can't always question the manager you have to question the club as well and we all know what these glazers have done you you see the men's team the men's team desperately need a central defensive midfielder we desperately need a midfielder right now we need a backup right back but we aren't getting any of those why because they are just trying to earn money they are just trying to earn money and spend it on their nfl team tampa bay so you know you can't always question the manager yes you can question the manager but you can't always put the whole blame on the manager and that's what i'm trying to say but enough of that 5-0 win i am really 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 happy with the team right now uh let's just continue this next game arsenal let's win it and let's go to the semi finals of the conti cup and win this cup because this team desperately needs a uh, uh, silverware because there are a lot of players who haven't won something substantial and it would be amazing if we have a conti cup trophy in our trophy cabinet so thank you guys for watching please like share and subscribe if you like if if you if you really like what my analysis of the game and uh, i know we haven't been around for quite some time united star took a sabbatical took a break because uh, everyone was busy with their um its personal commitments and uh, professional commitments but we are trying to get back on track right now uh, i'll be i'll i'll be regular with the women's team content but uh, you know we need your support thank you so much for supporting us and uh, you know keep supporting women's football keep supporting manchester united glory glory man united do follow us on our instagram and twitter handles until next time subscribe to our channel